Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coding writer for tutorials. This is our part 3. Inside this video, we will see the concept of treat in coding writer 4. So for this tutorial, we have an article inside blogging website. If I back to browser, go here inside this online web tutor blog.com, click on articles, code igniter 4. And if I search here something let's say treat, pressing enter, scroll down and as you can see that concept of treat in code igniter 4 tutorial. So simply click on this article. So if I scroll down, now first of all, to implement all about the concept of trait, first of all, we need to understand that what is a trait. So in general, traits are nothing but a reusable collection of methods and functions. If I back to slide, go here, open into a new tab. Let's say that we have several pages inside our website. Suppose we have different different types of controller. So inside this controller one, we are using a function. Let's say function one. Again, the same function we are using inside controller two. Let's say controller two. And inside this different controller, we are using the same function. Again, let's say that we have controller three. And inside this controller three, again, we are using the same function. But without using the concept of trait, let's say that the concept of same function we have defined into three different controllers. We are not using this reusable function. Means we are not creating this function only for a single time and using inside controller. Instead, what we are doing, we are defining the same function three more times inside these three different controllers. So by the help of treat or let's say by using the concept of Larry, simply we can define this function at a single place and we can use the same function, same trait inside each of the controller. In future, if we want some changes over this function, over any method, simply we can change and those changes automatically will reflect inside all these controllers. Otherwise, the same changes we need to do and write inside all these controllers. Now what I will do, simply we will create a trait class inside code editor for setup and we will see that how can we use a trait class and its reusable methods inside controllers. If I back to our blog article. So scroll down, first of all we need to install code editor for setup. So if I scroll down, here is the command. So what I will do, simply I will copy this composer command back here inside this code editor for setup, open into a terminal because this time we are going to run our composer command. Pressing here and let's say that instead of code editor hyphen for setup, I will call it as let's say trait hyphen class. Press enter. We need to wait for a while because as we can see the installation is in progress and successfully as we can see that installation now installed. If I back to folder structure, go here and this is the folder what we have downloaded. So I will open this folder into VS Code editor. Successfully now we have imported our project inside this editor, back to blog article. Now next, we need to set our environment variables that is .env file. So by default, when we do installation inside this setup, we have a env file. But right now, it is useless. If we want to use this env file, we need to convert from env to .env. So we have two options. Either we can simply rename here or we can run our terminal command called cp env dot env. By the help of this command actually we are creating a copy of env file to dot env file. So what I will do, simply copy this command, go here. First of all I will go inside that folder so it will be something trait hyphen class cp env dot env 
if I back to folder structure and as you can see that we have a .env file. Now next, inside this .env file, simply we are going to convert from production to development and why we are doing because after making it development if suppose if we get any error then the error will display inside output screen back to browser so here we have done all about our production to development now next we need to create a database to create database if I back to our PHMI admin go inside databases and let's say that treat underscore class if I press enter database created back to editor go inside this dot env file search for the variables called database and inside this I will uncomment all these variables to set our database details so here inside this database name this is the name what we have created in my case the username is admin and password is admin123 in your case it may be different so after setting databases back to article now next we need to create these two tables so what I will do simply I will copy all these codes back to PHMI admin go inside this database go inside the SQL tab pasting it here press enter or simply click on go button now as you can see that we have created two different tables now inside this database we have the tables as products inside this products table we have the column as ID name description amount status and time is time values now next inside this users table we have the column as ID name email and time is time values back to article so here we need to connect our database what we had done successfully now next we need to create cedar file so the first command is going to create a user cedar file so I will copy this command go to terminal pasting it here pressing enter cedar created successfully now next we need to copy this command it is going to create a product cedar file created successfully so after creating these two cedar file where we will find these two files simply we need to go inside database folder seeds folder and here is the file back to editor go and reload inside app database seeds and here we can see those two cedar files if I scroll down simply we need to open user cedar file and paste all these code copy this code from here open user cedar get rid of all these codes and pasting it here we have done all about user cedar file now next we need to copy all the code this is for product cedar code copied back to editor open this file get rid of this old code pasting it here now we have done all about these two cedar files back to article and finally now we need to seed the dummy data inside these two tables right now there is no rows inside this products table and users table so what we will do simply we will copy this first command go here pasting it here and this command is going to seed dummy data for users table because inside this user cedar file if we closely see that this user cedar file is going to do dummy entry inside this users table so go press enter user cedar seeded successfully go here click on users now as you can see that we have dummy data inside this users table now next copy this product cedar command back to terminal paste here pressing enter and as you can see that product cedar seeded successfully back to article we need to create models next so copy this first command this command is going to create user model so I will copy go paste and run now next again copy this will create our product model 
copy, paste, enter and create it. Back to folder structure. If I reload this directory structure, go inside app, models and as you can see, we are getting product model and user model file. This product model is pointing towards our product stable as well as user model is pointing towards user stable. Because inside all these models, we have a table member variable in which we have specified the table name. Back to article. Now next, here is the concept of trait now started. So far, we have configured all about application settings. We have done installation. We had created some like table structure. We had created cedar file, cedar data, and finally we have created models file. Now next, we need to create traits in Code Igniter. So simply, how can we create? If I back to folder structure, as you can see that inside this folder structure, there is no specific location to store our trait files. Instead, we have for the config, controller, database like for the migration, seeders, filters and so on. So to store traits in our application, we need to create a custom folder. So what I will do, simply I will create a folder inside this app folder with the name something let's say traits. Press enter, folder created successfully. If I back to blog article, so we have created a traits folder inside this app directory. Now next, we need to create a data trait.php file. So simply, I will copy the name, back to editor, go here inside this folder, click on new file and data trait.php. Inside this data trait.php, we will define our trait class. And inside that trait class, we will create a method and that method basically a reusable method or let's say reusable block of code which we can use inside any of the application controller. So if I back to blog article, I will copy this code back to editor and pasting it here. The code is very simple. First of all, inside this first line, we are specifying the namespace. It means this trait means this trait block we have defined inside this app and traits folder. So simply the namespace indicates that currently we are inside this app and traits. After that here we have a trait block. Inside this trait block here we have a method called public function get data. Inside this public function get data method we are passing the model name and by the help of this model we are reading all the data. If I back to our blog article, now next we need to create few routes. So I will copy and before copy as you can see inside this inside these routes we need a data controller. So first of all I will create this controller by copying this command back to terminal pasting it here. Now data controller created successfully. Now next, I will copy these two routes back to editor, go inside this config folder, open up the file called routes.php. So here we have routes.php. If I scroll down and simply, I will paste all those routes right here after this welcome page. Inside these routes, these are our route name called list hyphen products list hyphen users and these methods are calling list products list user methods from this data controller. So next we need to create these two methods inside data controller back to blog article. So by running this command we have created our controller. So here is the complete code. So I will copy this data controller code back here inside this editor open up the file our controller. So go inside app controllers, data controller. I am re removing this old code and pasting what the code actually we have copied. Now inside this code, let's understand step by step that what actually we are doing. Simply, this is the namespace, this is our parent controller and after these two lines, here we have imported our data thread. This data thread contains a reusable block of method. 
So first of all, to use all these methods, we need to import this data trait block. So simply inside this controller, we have imported this data trait from app and traits folder. Now next, we are loading all the models like product model and user model. Now next, this is all about the syntax to create a controller class. Inside this controller class, we want to use all about our reusable methods of this data thread block. So here, we have loaded. Now next, we need to use inside this class. So that's why we have written use data thread. Now these are two methods. And inside this method, simply here we have products equals to this get data new product model by the help of get data get data is nothing it's a method what we have created inside this data thread block and simply inside this get data we are passing an instance of product model if suppose we are not interested to write this line so instead of that what i will do let's say products equals to or simply we write product obj this is all about our project product instance new product model and after that let's create a variable called products here we need to write products obj arrow operator and find all so in the first line we are creating an instance by the help of this instance we are calling find all method to read all the products the same two lines we need to repeat here as well. If I will copy or instead of that, let's comment this line. First of all, if we want to read all the data from users table, we need to create an instance of user model. So user underscore obj. Here we need to write user model and users equals to user obj and we need to use find all method. So as we can see that we are repeating some lines again and again that is loading a model means creating an instance and then calling a find all method. Why not actually we are creating a same piece means a reusable block of method so that it will take a model instance and by the help of model instance we will call find all method. So that's why instead of these two lines again and again inside any of controllers method what we have done we have written a single line of code inside that let's say something get data inside this method we are passing a instance of model so in the first method we have the instance of model it's a product model and in the second method called list users here we are passing the instance of user model so this is the use of trait in Codeigniter 4. In suppose we have multiple controllers, simply we can use this first of all to import a data trait used inside controller class and simply we can call all the methods what we have specified inside this trait block. So this is kind of a reusable block of method what we are doing inside this data controller. So just think for a case, if we have large project, inside that large project, if we are repeating the same piece of code again and again inside any of the controller, so to get rid of that concept, we can use the concept of libraries, helpers and trait block concept. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.